It's never dull, is it, being a blade? This bloody roller coaster we're all on. I mean, two weeks ago, we're 10 points clear, we're gaming and everything's brilliant. Then we lose two on spin, but a win two, and it's doom and gloom. And obviously, our positive, our trying to stay positive, but easier said than done a lot of time. And obviously, our fear ain't worse, and we're still not out of woods yet. The, the the key is is this league and getting out of it but fast forward again and we've beat Watford while Borough lost so extended it back to seven with a game in hand and then we turn up for Tottenham fully focused on league and Rodsy were joking with me shout out to Rodsy um, that Eki's a fan at Ramble he definitely is definitely is a follower at Ramble because He's put out a very similar team to what I wanted. Basically, it certainly weren't first choice 11. Eight changes from Watford game, which tells you all you need to know. There'd have been more as well if Anelan had been suspended. Before game, I were nervous that we were going to play a strong side, which I thought was risky. So when team news came through, it really relaxed me. I were, I were chuffed a bit to see that not many at Big Hitters were out and playing for us and they were on bench ready to go which I were at 50-50 on but ultimately a respectable performance and narrow loss we would all have been happy with or I certainly would have been no disgrace to losing to a team that's currently fourth in Premier League who also by the way they put out a very strong side Kane didn't start as we know but really strong Son and Richarlison Mora up front. I thought Mora were best at three and he hadn't been playing for him. But I were relaxed. Went into the game. Um, it was one of the most enjoyable games I've watched at late. In, in fact, the whole evening were one of the most enjoyable experiences I've had because there were no pressure. That's how I felt anyway because I weren't bothered about this cup run. And I'm still not to a degree. When I say not bothered, don't mean I'm not excited. Don't mean why we're in quarterfinals. But what it does mean is I certainly wouldn't be going full strength in quarters. I know how close we are and I know the closer we get, it, the, the sort of feeling it overtakes you a little bit. We cannot lose focus on what the most important thing is here. But Blackburn will be sick as dogs. They've gone to Leicester and turned them over with a really good performance. And obviously bouncing with confidence after that going into Saturday. And we've turned Tottenham over. We Obviously a... a Bigger, stronger club. Anything you can do, we can do better. Even when Koulibaly goes through and misses that one-on-one -on -one that he needs to bury, you can't, you can't not score there. I laughed. I sort of half, half groaned, half laughed, because it's not the end of the world if we lose this game. But then we scored. And what a goal, by the way. What a goal. And that were it. I were into it. Oh, my God. How long's left? I can't believe it. We're going to do it. Obviously, we're all going barmy when goal goes in. But I thought it was fully deserved. To say it weren't our strongest side, it just highlights the depth in this squad and what we can do. I thought Basham were back to his best. He had a couple of misplaced passes, but I thought he looked superb. Some of them tackles. Robinson continued his really good form. Can't say any other. I thought Anel in middle at back three. We've all been thinking, or certainly I have, if Kieran Clark's not fit as Egan's understudy, we're knackered. Well, we're not. Because Anel, the fact that he can go either side on either foot and be okay, gives him that flexibility to switch and turn. And he, he had, he had, he weren't beaten all night, really, Anel. I thought he were absolutely superb. And we're all thinking worse when Harry Kane comes on. Oh, well, it's been nice, this. But until that last minute header where he, he were free, he didn't pose any threat. I thought Tommy Doyle also showed us that we don't need Norwood to win games. Too often, we have solely relied on Norwood. And I think we'll certainly go back to that on Saturday. You know, he's the conductor, isn't he? He's the one that sort of makes everything tick for us. But Tommy Doyle can perform that role. We've seen that. 
Um, spoiler for upcoming video in terms of who should we sign. Tommy Doyle is a must for me. Whether they'll sell him, I'm not sure, but what a player he is and what a player he's been for us this season. So I thought it was fantastic, really. Really, really strong. And shout out to Andre Brooks, who didn't look out of place. Really good all round. Couldn't have gone any better. And then to draw Blackburn at home in quarters to give us best possible chance. But why not put that team out again or a similar team to that? They've deserved another chance at it. I think really, really strong. The one thing we have to sort of mention is Illiman, the difference maker, essentially, is what a player, what a player he is. He's too good for us. We've got to be right. He's too good for us. I get it were only a flash and it were a cameo appearance from him. But that's what you need in those big games. You need moments like that. You need big game players. And he stood up to it. And hopefully that gives him confidence now getting that goal again. Blackburn will be frightened to death, or so they should be, of Illiman and I. Um, I mean, there's two ways of looking at it, in there? He put himself in shot window. And you can look at it as, well, that's him gone then, isn't it? Or you can look at it as... Same sort of thing, really. I think he's gone, but at least he's added another ten million to his price tag. So we'll see what happens with that. But he's, let's just enjoy it. Let's just enjoy that feeling. Absolutely unreal. So <laughs> this crazy season continues. So they say that a good journalist never reveals his sources. Well, it's a good job I'm not a journalist, and some might say I'm not any good, <laughs> but. Darren Smith on Twitter, my go-to source, um, has noted that due to this FA Cup run, we've now netted in excess of a million quid and guaranteed TV money. And we all, subsequent extras like 45% at gate receipts for all ties and shirt sleeve sponsors, it'll be over a million quid. And if we've obviously drawn Blackburn next, um, if we get through that game, and it's a big if because we don't know what team we're going to put out. Blackburn are on a good run of form. I'd rather get three points than get through that game, if I'm honest. That's just my opinion. But if we get through it, it's another 450 grand because we're guaranteed TV money from Semi. We're going to Wembley. It's just mad to think, isn't it? And that money would come in really well due to money problems we're having in the embargo. And speaking of the embargo... I have a video coming up tomorrow, hopefully. Just explaining what what the current position is. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of talk online where people are worried and what does it mean? When's the deadline? Are we going to get a transfer ban? Are, are we going to get any point deductions? Are we going to go into administration if we don't get paid? I've got a full video coming up and there's also an update on Dozy coming as well which a few have, have been asking for. So here's a little sneak peek at, at the video coming tomorrow. So who fancies a Dozy update? Dozy's now refuted that. Well, now They've been talking again in the last couple of days, so and we end up with a Henry Maurice, who's now in, in prison for wire fraud. Does it mean we're going to have a transfer ban if we don't clear it? Does it mean that we're going to go into administration every January and August? We owe Liverpool two million quid. Who pays that? It might well be a case of, as soon as you make the decision, guys, we will pay. Be, see you later, Illiman. Thanks for your service, Sander. That's the video coming up next. So make sure you're subscribed. Tap that notification bell, as they all say, just to make sure you don't miss it. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a current update on position we're in. We both doze it and the embargo, and it hopefully settles a few nerves. So give it a watch. Obviously, next up is Blackburn. And the only question to ask, Eki, I hope you're watching. What's your team? Now, it was um, obviously heavily rotated team with this game in mind. So I'm expecting all big hitters to come back in. The only caveat um, that I picked up from one of Eki's post-match press conferences was that Bogle had been ill. I don't know what the illness is. Obviously, some of us have heard this rumour about illness going through camp. He had mentioned it in his pre-match presser as well. Well, apparently Bogle's one of them that's injured. So, 
I'm going Wesingall. I'm going Bash, Egan, Robinson, with obviously an L suspended. And Bash, I thought was superb last night. Again, with a couple of rooks in him, but that happens. Robbo's always got it in his locker too, but I thought they were superb. And it's never a weakened team to bring Egan back in. I'm going Baldock right wing back. He played 60 minutes. Um, Eki said that were always the plan because he were thrown back into it after being out for a little while. Um, I'm hoping he's, he's fit enough to see it out this time. If not, he might want to throw Osborne on at right wing back, which I'm never really comfortable with. Max Lowe on left-hand side. I'm going Fleck and Norwood in middle with Sander in front of him, hopefully. And then Illy and Oli Mack up front. I, th I think that's the best team we can play for this game. Obviously, Tommy Doyle played a full 90. He was ex exceptional, but played a full 90 in a really sort of energetic, sort of emotionally invested game and sort of... Them sort of games that take it out of you, really. So... I wouldn't expect him to start. Flecky obviously got a few more minutes in legs. I think he'll go with Fleck and Norwood here. What's your team? What do you think we should do? Do you think some of the lads from last night should get a, a shout on Saturday to start? Obviously, Brooks played really well, but he played almost a full game. I think he, he, he looked like he picked up a bit of a knock, but I've heard notes since, so hopefully that's okay. What would you do? Are you happy with my team? Is that what you want to do? Eki, you can take it if you want, mate. Um, happy with that. But other question to ask, I suppose, is would you take a draw at Blackburn who haven't lost a game in 10 or 11? I personally wouldn't. I think playing first is a huge marker that we can put down here. So before Borough play, we can go 10 clear of them. And that's that's a huge ask, a huge ask. Desperate for the three points. I'm confident we can do it. I think we've turned a corner. I'm hoping so anyway. I don't want to jinx us, but I go into the game confident. And come on, you red and white wizards. Don't let us down. Up the blades. Ramble on.